Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Maria from Abissima. I hope you recognize my voice. I have a bit of cold and I feel that my voice is lower and I don't even want to show you my face. It looks really, really dramatic today. So uh, just bear with me and look at my hands. And today I just want to give you a short tip about uh, how to use a really an amazing product by Golden. So this is iridescent uh, pearl, which is really, really um, uh, great uh, kind of like a white metallic uh, paint that adds some life to your mixed media. But before we continue, let me put some drone music because music makes it always better. Okay, so anyway. So here I'm showing you my latest work um, from my latest uh, series of paintings that is called um, Ancient Gold. So you can see there's a lot going on. I incorporated uh, different things, pieces of glass, some, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I forgot this ones. I think this called, uh, a pirate pirates and also um, this beautiful uh, ball made of glass so um, I wanted to um, create an imitation of an, of an old metal and old uh, gold and uh, actually it's going to be our uh, next uh, class so I'm preparing a class but meanwhile I want to show you some uh, cool technique with uh, this pearl paint by golden and I want to apply it to this area. This area is darker. I hope you can see well. Uh, it's darker than this part or this part. This part is dark as well, but it's on purpose, right? So I just wanted to brighten up a little bit this area. So what I'm gonna do, I don't need to open this jar. Technically it's open, but before I do it, I just shake it. There is a little tiny ball that gets all the beautiful metallic flakes from inside. Okay, and then I'm using my fingers. I do believe that fingers are the best tools to use. So what I'm doing, I'm just slightly pressing and getting just a tiny bit. And then with my finger, just rubbing, rubbing this color up on the top. Okay, so maybe I exaggerated a little bit with amount. But what, what really happens is that it reveals a beautiful texture. So let's just get closer and take a look. As you can see, all those little caves and caverns are now shown much better. So I'm rubbing it with my fingers slightly and voila. This is great. I love the result. So right now, the, all this area, let's put it this way. All this area is much uh, lighter, but we could still see a beautiful texture with coverings that reminds us of a, rust, a rusty surface. So here you go. This is my latest work. It's almost finished. I'm still working on it. I want to sleep on it. I want to leave it until tomorrow and take a fresh look with a natural sunlight. And I truly hope that you do like this um, uh, cool, um, uh, cool style. And um, please stay tuned. Everything is going to be explained step by step. And happy creating, of course. This is Maria from Abissima. And thank you so much for being such a loyal student. I love you all. And I uh, have to say that it's amazing to see all your uh, beautiful mixed media art in uh, Abyssima Mixed Media Open Group. You guys are so active, you're so creative, you inspire, inspire me so much. Sorry for not being able sometimes to answer all your questions or to react to your beautiful art. Well, you know what, life is busy, but I promise you, I, um, I always check what you guys create and you keep... Um, inspire me inspiring me all the time so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this little uh, iridescent pearl paint by golden and you will use it with your finger in your next uh, mixed media project happy creating see you soon